everybody, my name is Maribel and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to create an assistant form for our Google Classrooms. Okay, so let's start. First of all, what we have to do is to look for the form. Remember that it's color purple. And if you don't see the form here, you can just give a click here in more. And, and we can see the Google Forms at the end of this page. Yes, that it is. Okay, so it's color purple. Uh, okay, and you look at the form. That's good. You choose personal. And give one click just to open the new form. That part was very easy. Now here you have a lot of forms. Okay, that you can change or you can you can use it at any time you can check it later but the form that we are going to choose it's empty okay so it's going to be empty and you just give one click and you will have one form empty so in this form you have to just to to write yes to write the title of of, of this that is assist Dance, okay you can write assistance or whatever you want okay yeah that is your decision it's up to you what you wrote okay now you can also add a description if you want and uh, you can uh, okay tell something to your to students so what is next okay is to add one more question by clicking there in that symbol and then you have two things. Now, in the first in the first question, you are going to write, for example, mark the assistance, please, so you can write something different. It's up to you also, okay? It's your decision what to write. This is just an example to show you how it works. Then, uh, we have to choose the, cor the correct option. That is, the correct option that is, okay, there, it's there, quadriculas, uh, the various options that is in Spanish that is please the ones that with a lot of circles with nice circles that you have to choose you are going to choose that you choose that and then uh, you just complete that so you have there in filas and it says that in Spanish it's, you complete with the names okay you write your students names you can write one you can write two three four if you have 40 students you can write a 40 names and it's going to be better you have a lot of students and it's going to be very useful because you can control now and very easy how many students are present in the classroom if the students are doing are doing the class okay or they are doing the homework if they are there okay so you can control sometimes we don't know who was in the classroom or who is downloading the, the the materials that you upload we don't have idea yes who did it but with this we really have idea who was present who was on time who was late so it depends on your necessities okay so if you for example consider here in this part to write present or to write, I'm sorry, to write late, you just write it. But if you consider something different, like for example, to write only the, um, the time, okay? Uh, or another thing that you can, okay, you can think about that, okay, you just can change it. This is just my example, this is where it works for me, and this is the idea that I give you, okay? I wrote this, and for, for me that was just enough because my principal, okay, the, or the director of my, of, uh, sorry, the principal of my school just tell me that yes, he wanted to know if the students were in the classroom or they were just in the classroom. Uh, and that was perfect for me. So you can write two or three things, it depends on you, but if you don't need it, you just, just erase this and you have only two options. Okay, that's it. So what is very, very important, please, to mention, and you have, please, to follow this, is that you don't have to touch this part. So you don't have to give one click here. It doesn't have to be, no, no, like this. No, 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 forget it. Yes, you have to, you have to put it like this. Don't touch this part. And it's very important, please, if you, that you don't touch this part, okay? In this case, okay, in this case, to create this so the next thing to do is um, 
to write one uh, something here you can write you can write commentaries or you can write commentary okay it's also up to use your decision uh, what you wrote here but some students uh, like to communicate with you yes they want to say hello teacher how are you I'm oh I'm sorry teacher I'm late because I had a big problem etc right so they want to communicate and sometimes they leave you a message and this is the place the perfect place okay to do that so you just write this and and you're going to change the option okay you're going to change uh, the option and you can choose a, a short paragraph okay or okay a short paragraph so they can write something to you if they want so don't forget that you don't have to okay give a click here okay as the other one so no clicks here i repeat many times because some of my my friends told me uh, teacher teacher doesn't work it doesn't work my students can't complete the forms what happened and that was the problem that was the problem and look the way that the students are going to look at the assistant that, that is perfect uh, and you can choose okay they can choose only one option you have two options or you can write three options remember but they choose only one okay they have to choose only one option and they and then just send the answer okay you just send the answer uh, and then after that you are going to see okay all the students answers very 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 quickly so let's do one example for example here I'm going to send this okay and then you have this okay you have this and what I wa what I want want to to show you now is okay is this the answers okay here it says the answers and you have one if you have the, the answer of 20 students or 30 students, you will have their 20, okay, numbers. So it means uh, the quantity of students that complete the form, okay? You have their settings, please, that is also very important, and pay attention and don't forget it, that you have just to limit this to one answer, only that. Don't touch anything more okay don't touch anything in presentation don't talk anything in, in the rest in, in the other anything everything is uh, don't touch it okay and you just save save don't touch that and you just save okay what you did okay that's perfect so that's something that uh, I, I want you to know and what I want you to teach you also or to to show you is that you can change the colors okay you can change the colors every week for example or every month it depends on you also you can change the font okay you can play a little bit here and remember that always you now that you can see the answer now like this and this is perfect because you can see the answer very quickly okay and you see like this you can see like this that it's a color blue it means that it was present in the color red it means it was late you can see the equations and you can see oh well here you can see you see so you can see all the students there if they were present or not etc so you have uh, you have everything there and quickly and you know who was in the classroom who okay what student was working and so who was present late i think that that was perfect it works for me and it works for all my colleagues it was uh, perfect really perfect so i recommend this a lot so you can here you can give one click here not to accept more answers not to accept it so if uh, if you want to accept something more you can give another click and then you can accept okay so that's very important okay because some students sometimes after three days uh, they want to send the assistant and that's not fair so you have to give a click there to close the assistant okay so now we are going to see something different okay now i will show you how to put this in the classroom how i use it okay or in my personal view how i use it i don't know if it works for you but i will tell you how i did it okay but um, i think that before doing that we have to do something very important also yes to make a copy that's very important okay once that everything is done 
you have to make a copy there you can write for example you can write for example oops I'm sorry I had a problem here you can write for example June and you can write uh, June 7th, June 8th, June 9th, etc. 12th, 11th, etc. Okay, you can have to make a copy for every day. Okay, for every day, and then you have it in, in your drive. Okay, because everything that you do here is going to be in your drive, and you don't need to save anything because everything is there. Okay, it doesn't disappear, it's going to be in your drive. Okay, if you decide you can put it in a, a small carpet or you can choose in another, you can put it just in your drive and, um, and just use it, okay, and just use it, use it. Now, we are, will show you how I put it in the classroom. For example, this is just a classroom that I uh, create just to show the example, right? So here, start, here we have the assistant, okay, June, okay, you can write something different, for example, we have lesson one, lesson two, etc. This was just something that I did very quickly, but you just create like this, you choose material that was in Spanish, okay, or just tools, etc. But be sure that it's that, okay, with that picture over there, and you can write just the title, right? You can write, for example, assistant, June, uh, 12 or June 13, it depends, right? You know that you have to write this or send this every day from Monday to Friday or, or the days that you have classes, right? You have to send every day in the morning very early and they have to complete, okay? You choose the assistant June, that's very important, please, to choose the place where it goes and uh, you have to add, okay? <coughs> I'm so sorry. You have to add the form. Okay, you choose there, there, you have there the form. But if you have a lot of documents here, sometimes it's not going to be uh, very easy to find it. So, but you can write, okay, well, okay, what you wrote, you know. We wrote June 12th and we find it very easy. Okay, and there is our form. Now, we have here, okay, uh, we have can program this or we can or we can publish this. So in this case we're going to publish and perfect. There it is. There is our assistant June 12th. And now the students like this, right? Now students every morning when they enter to the classroom, they know that they have to, to complete this assistance, okay, because uh, it is necessary. So the first the, the first week was a little complicated to to remind students to do it, but after after one week everybody was doing was doing that job with any problem. So that's a part that uh, okay i want to show you about the assistant and how to take the assistance in google classroom i hope that you like my video okay that is something that i created because i really need it i hope that you can share it and i hope also that you can subscribe to my channel to create to create more information to give you some tips okay so if you like it if you use it please write some commentaries you know that it's important also to communicate uh, and i just want to say bye bye have a good luck uh, thanks thanks for watching this video